you've asked for it, and now you're getting it. A brand new re-release of a Super Nintendo title. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Now, if you've been part of this community for any length of time, you know that we cover the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis in depth and always come to you with brand new games for that awesome Sega 16-bit console. But rarely do we come with a ton of Nintendo stuff, and that's not because we're trying to avoid it, it's because there's not much of it. But we do have a bit of a Christmas surprise for you, because Retrobit are re-releasing Battletoads and Double Dragon. We're going to be playing through it today and checking out what exactly you get from this new Retrobit re-release. So what we're going to do is play the first level of Battletoads Double Dragon, then we'll jump out, take a deeper look at the game, and take a look at what Retrobit are offering with this new physical collector's edition of Battletoads Double Dragon. Now, I've never played this game. I've played a ton of Battletoads, played it in the arcades, played it on my Sega Mega Drive, played it on the NES. I've played a huge amount of Double Dragon, one of my all-time favorite beat-em-ups in the arcade, had it on the Master System, Mega Drive, and a ton of other systems. But I've never played this. So this collector's edition is probably perfect for me. Now I am playing it emulated, we're playing it on the SNES 9X and uh, I've got a cool little filter over here to make it look like it's on a CRT. Usually when I play my physical games I play it on my big CRT screen over there. Right, let's get into it. Firstly, I love this intro of all the different characters. It looks like there's a, a story uh, mode to this and some cutscenes in there. I won't go through that just yet, I want to get straight into the game, see how it plays, what it feels like, what it sounds like. Right, so we've got options here for one player, two player A, two player B. I don't know what A and B are, I'll look that up in a minute, but it doesn't look like there's anything other than that. What I'm really interested to see is, is this Double Dragon with Battletoads, or Battletoads with Double Dragon, or a match of the two? Uh, I'm going to play Double Dragon characters because I love it so much. I'm going to play Billy, I think. The... the, the the intro music there was awesome, by the way. I love the music there. Uh-oh. A Bobo. So we got a double drag. Oh, hang on. Give me a chance to speak. We got a Bobo as our first boss, it looks like. So we got a double dragon boss. And this looks like the beginning of the arcade game. Oh, I thought I'd fallen off there. So this, and definitely from the combat, actually, this feels more like Battletoads. So I'd say this is Battletoads featuring Double Dragon, is what this game is. The combat is, from what I can see, if they let me attack, if they get you into attack, that's it, you're stuck. Um, but the combat feels very much like Battletoads. You know, it, it hasn't got a huge amount of um, extended depth in the moves. You know, it's, it's predominantly button bashing. Which is not a bad thing, feels very, very arcadey. Uh, but it hasn't got the extra moves that you had in Double Dragon. So you haven't got like the uh, shoulder move. Um, like there, to grab, I was just attacking. And it just automatically grabbed. So you're not, you're not having to move into the side and grab them. Uh, you don't really get a choice. So in that way, it's very, very Battletoads. So if you love Battletoads, especially it feels like if you love arcade Battletoads, you're going to love this. Uh, and I love the I love seeing uh, the Double Dragon characters in the game. Oh, it's harsh though. It's pretty brutal. It's very Battletoads. Battletoads is a, it can be a tough game in places. Um, and it's very much that. Like, if, if they hit me, I'm stuck. I'm glued to them. I'm, I'm just glued to them. I can do a jump attack to get out of it, it looks like. But they'll they'll do some damage before... Before you can do anything else. I was trying to get that guy to fall off the edge of the uh, platform there. Like you can in Double Dragon, you know. 
kill three or four enemies by making them walk off the edge there. Uh, the AI is too good for that. <laughs> it was worth a try. All right, let's get rid of this guy, and then we'll take this one out. Oh, they're tough. And they've got a real reach, like they do this extended punch. Oh, and shooting me from the... Come on, stop being cheesy. Oh, that's cool. You can switch him either side there. I remember this guy from the arcade, or at least I think I remember him from the arcade. Yeah, you had to take out his hand. That's it. Yeah, it's very much kind of like a... It's not the arcade game, but it feel, it's inspired by the arcade. So, Battletoads, featuring Double Dragon, inspired by the arcade game, is, <laughs> is the razor for this game. One up, I'll need that. Oh, come on. Oh, I wish you could turn him round and he'd take the fire. I was really hoping that I could move him to one side and then get him to take the... Uh, take the fire. There's a lot of knees he took there to get him down. Right, level one, two. Is that... Is this a new level? Let's have a look. I haven't got much health. I fear that I'm not going to make it to the end of the first level here. Although it looks like I have. I've got to level one, two. That doesn't feel like the end of the level. That feels like halfway through the level one, two, doesn't it? No, no. Got him. Should we go up here? No. <laughs> They've got the animation from Battletoads on them. Uh-oh. Don't get near me. He looks great. I, I'm going to say, the sprites are quite small. I don't know if that's because you're on the spaceship. And, and it's kind of like a zoomed out view. Got him. Well, he's a lot easier than in Double Dragon, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the end of the first level. We'll take a quick look at the second level. It's, it's not super hard, although if the enemies get hold of you, that's it. You're done for. Well, it looks like we've got a Battletoads boss next. So maybe they're doing Double Dragon, Battletoad, Double Dragon, Battletoad. Right, in we go. And we got some Double Dragon bosses straight away. Yeah, the... The key to this combat here is you've got to start your attack before they attack. If you don't, that's it. They've got you. I love those animations where their hair's flinging and their arms are moving. So it looks like we are small sprites. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It still looks like a great game. It would be nice to have bigger, chunkier sprites. Um, but there's so much personality in the characters, actually, that uh, it, it almost makes up for those smaller sprites. And the soundtrack's great. Oh, look, we got those. I remember those from the Mega Drive version. I wonder if you can break off their legs. Let's have a look. You used to be able to break their legs off and... Hey, legs broken off. You could break their legs off and then use that as a club. And you can here. Brilliant. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Did he fall through the floor? He did! <laughs> he smashed them through the floor. That's brilliant. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look, I can go up. That's very Double Dragon. I like that. Oh, look at that. It's a real mix of... They've really done a good job of mixing the two IPs here. Because this is that feels very Battletoad. But then that is very Double Dragon. What's this guy going to do? Uh-oh. We'll throw it back at him? Yeah. No, no. Throw it. I don't know if... I've noticed that there's only a few enemies. Because there was those purple enemies in level one. Um, and the robots. And the hands. What do I do now? Okay, go down there. Uh, and this is the same. So we got these guys here. What did I click there? We've got these guys here. We've got the, um, I don't know what they're called. The guys that are on stilts. The robots. Can I got that? Is that a ladder? Yeah. 
That's the little things that please me. Oh, look, you can attack on it as well. That's cool. Let's see if I can do that over here. Oh, yeah, you can. Does it give you a tactical advantage? I don't know. It's a lot easier. So far, this game's not that hard. I mean, I was expecting it to be, you know, apart from there, where you get stuck. It's not a hard game. It feels nice. Feels very, very arcadey. Like I said, just light on the um, on the actual combat mechanics. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll dispatch these two here, and then we'll jump into a deeper. Uh, look at the game and also what exactly you get with the retro bit collector's edition the physical Version that you can buy from retro bit I said I was going to establish these guys. So I'm just gonna get rid of these guys as well. Actually. I'm having a bit too much fun here Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's take a closer look at Battletoads and Double Dragon Battletoads and Double Dragon is a rare developed game and they released the Super Nintendo version of this game in 1993 now, the game isn't super hard to get hold of, but if you want to get yourself a complete in-box version of this game, it's going to cost you in the low hundreds. I enjoy playing through the game, and it leans heavily into the arcade beat-em-up gameplay of most Battletoad games. I love the little animation flourishes that Rare added, and the mix-up in gameplay. I'm also a huge Double Dragon fan, and whilst the core combat mechanics of Double Dragon are absent from this game, the universe has been nicely integrated. Signature combat moves are now part of the CQC animation and things like interactive backgrounds make it into the game. I love seeing the enemies and bosses being a mashup of the two franchises and the dev team did a great job in creating a visually appealing universe. I was a little disappointed with the size of the character sprites but this is probably because the game was a port of the original NES game. You get the same with the Mega Drive and Genesis port of Battletoads from the NES. Retrobit have been on fire this year with their releases of classic games and they are ending 2022 with a bang. For me, this game goes beyond just a simple re-release and it's more like a collector's edition of the game. It's been officially licensed from Rare and Arc System Works and has some amazing presentation. The game will come with a deluxe hardcore cover box, a full coloured instruction manual and either an NTSC or PAL special edition cartridge. This will look amazing in your collection. If you never had this game or you love collecting for the SNES, then this is the definitive edition of Battletoads and Double Dragon for you. Now, if you love these new re-releases for old consoles, if you love retro gaming, then why not consider subscribing? You can do this by clicking on a little button just below this video. We put up brand new retro gaming videos every single Monday. And so that you don't miss one, make sure you click on the little bell also just below this video. Now, if you can't wait until next Monday, don't worry. We've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy. Two of which you can watch over here.